previously on Piston Cup Races. Everything went wrong. Like, literally everything went wrong. Welcome back, everybody, to Piston Cup Races. That's right, folks. Uh, we have a bit of an issue today. Um, yeah. Yeah, everything went wrong last week. Yup. Care to elaborate, Daryl? Fine, okay? Literally every single race car whacked out. They sputtered. Then basically just blew up. Race tow truck Dom had a pretty exciting week last week. Yeah, we had to triple his pay because of all those cars he had to tow off the track. Exactly. Now folks are hoping for a clean race today as well we examine the fuel and and all the cars and it seems to be a okay. Unlike last week where there did seem to be some foreign substances. However, all the crews of all the cars swear that it was not them. And they are pretty trustworthy, leaving us to believe that someone has put, that someone competing last week had put legal fuel in it. And there was only one car last week who didn't explode. Nigel Gearsley. The competitor exclusively last week. That's right. So folks... Our Piston Cup security team is currently interrogating Nigel Gearsley, seeing what happened. You're mad if you think that I did anything. I have no idea what was going on, okay? I brought my own fuel all the way from Britain. I had no idea what was happening. It has to be one of your own. Like, ugh, can't believe you guys blaming me. It has to be one of your own. I know nothing. One of our own, huh? Well, there is one Piston Cup racer that has been kicked out of the cup for a few weeks. Exactly, then it's probably him. Buck Baringly. Buck, yeah, he's always been a troublemaker. Exactly. I'll think about it. Nigel, you're free for now. Alright, good, thank you! A shocking revelation indeed. Yup, that's right. He, uh... I guess Buck Baringley certainly could have done it. Yep. Anyway, folks, Tom will keep on investigating. Welcome back to Piston Cup Races. Today's race is a France 400. Because today, just like our last week we had a guest from Britain, we have a guest racer from France. Ladies and gentlemen, Raoul Sarul. Thank you so much for inviting me here. No problem, old pal. Now, let's say we get you out to the track. Okay. Speed. I... And speed. No, cut it out, Lightning! Cut it out right now! There's no way you can be happy, not after last week! How could you be calm with the fact that you're going in another race? Every racer blew up last week! Every single one! Lightning, how can you be happy? How could you still be trying? I hear you, Cal. I'm concerned, too. But, just, just don't think about it, okay? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure everything will be fine. I doubt the same thing will happen two weeks in a row. The race officials are really doing a great job trying to track down whoever did it. Track down! It's been two weeks! There wasn't even a pissing up race last week because the creator was on vacation. And so for the last two weeks, the race officials have been... Trying to do stuff. I can't believe this. They haven't made even a dent in the progress. <sighs> Who's your friend, Lightning? The one that keeps complaining and blasting my eardrums out. Uh, this is Cal. Yeah, it's an honor to meet you, Mr. Sarul. Thank you. A fan, huh? Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing, boy! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I was gonna turn around to speak to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> and they're off. Raul gets a very early lead. For how early on in the race this is, he's doing a pretty darn good job. So, uh, Ruby. Yeah, man? Next week's your last race? Y yeah. How's it feel? I don't know, honestly. I don't know how to feel about all this. All of my hard work, everything. I mean, I'm fine with retiring, honestly, but... I just wish that I could be doing well right now. Well, you can be doing well. You just need to clear your mind, you know? But I'm so concerned about exploding again. Don't worry, man, okay? 
Listen, I'm gonna race until the day that I die, I swear. I'm not gonna let any replacements come by. But you chose to retire, so don't be worried about it. If you actually don't want to retire, you don't have to. Gaskets, a track time treat. Rex, you know how many times I've told you to stop singing? Gaskets, the track time treat. Gaskets, it is a meat. And it's also a sweet, and it's a treat for your teeth. That doesn't rhyme. Ten laps in, and everything seems to be going smoothly so far. I don't get it, Lightning. How are you so calm through all this? Because, Cal, not letting it trouble me. Just racing like I always do. Sorry, Jimmy, coming through. Get off me, man, get off! Oh. See you later, Jimmy! An astonishing lead now taken by Dud Throttleman. 50 laps in and everything's still going perfectly fine. No incidents yet, luckily. Hey, compared to last week, everything seems like it'll be okay. Hey, Parker, yeah, man? Did you hear that I got a new hauler? R really? Yeah, his name's Dan Holland. Pretty nice guy. Alright, cool. Now, excuse me, coming through. Just gonna slip right into this position. Caskets! That didn't sound right. Um, ahem. <clears throat> Gaskets, the track time. Out of my way! Ha <laughs> ha! And there goes Raul using the signature jump move to get in the lead. <sighs> Alright, you got this, Dud. You're in second place. This is gonna be your first. <clears throat> <gasps> I got a bad feeling about this. Ah, the first explosion of the race! Yeah. Oh my gosh, Jeff Rodelman! Jeff Rodelman crashed! Oh man, this cannot be good for the rest of the racers. Who will be next? Only time will tell. Hopefully nobody. <coughs> Murray Clutchburn and Aaron Ledford have both spun out! <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dave Alternators! <laughs> Gonna get you, Lightning! You don't realize how doomed you are, Lightning. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> Cow! <Come! laughs> The crashes seem more violent than last week. I got a bad feeling about. Ah, help! 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 Cal, speak to me, buddy. Are you okay? Yeah. It's quite a tumble. The crashes this week have been even worse than last week. I need to get to the bottom of this and fast. Oh, don't take me out, coach. I can still race. Oh, where have I heard that before? <sighs> what is going on? I don't know. Raul, whatever's going on, I'm so sorry that even though you're the guest racer this race, th this has to be the one you experience. The one of the worst ones. The last two races have been horrible. Uh, they've been violent cars crashing left and right. We don't even know who did it. I understand. Raul sure is seemingly having a hard time getting up to the leaders now. What if I blow up? What if I blow up? He seems all too concerned now. By the way, we're now on lap 150. And nothing's gotten better. In fact, it's gotten worse. <sighs> don't worry, pal. You'll be okay. You'll be alright. <laughs> oh, another one. 
Don't worry, Ernie. I'll, I'll save you, Rev, and, and Rab. It's almost been like an infinite loop of racers just spinning out. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Lap 200. Yep, halfway through the race and only a fraction of the racers are remaining. It's been a pretty hectic Piston Cup season so far, especially with all this recent conflict. And there goes another one! Tommy Hypex is out! As is Dino Drowski! Oh, good riddance. Hated that guy. What are we gonna do? We don't know which one of us is gonna be next! Yeah. It's horrifying, man. Anybody have any bright ideas? Yeah, does anybody know? I don't know, man. I think this may be the end of the Piston Cup! And we're all dead! <laughs> I think Rex may have a point. If the crashes keep getting more and more violent every race, who knows what will happen and like, this keeps going on five weeks from now, they could be just so destructive, we could... I hear you loud and clear, Ruby. You're thinking what we're all thinking, but remember Gasket is the, the track time treat. I really don't like you. <laughs> Come on guys, just keep racing as normal. Nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> Nothing to be concerned about. Lightning, do you even see what's going on? Lap number 300 and everybody seems to be okay. No more crashes. But race officials Tom and uh, Tow Truck Tow, Tom, whatever his name is, depending on the diecast release, it's Tom now! Thank you. Have been stationed on the track just in case another crash happens. <sighs> Meanwhile, Lightning, Ra and uh, Raul have been fighting it out for first place for quite a while. Got this, Winford. Yeah, see you later, guys. It's like the last race. You can do this. You can do this. Let's listen to lightning. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Lap number 399, things are really getting heated, as only six, um, as only five, as only four racers remain. Ah, Lightning, Raul, and Bobby Swift round the final turn. Who will win? Who will win? Uh, Lightning, yeah, Bobby, a little help here. What's wrong? I got a pain in my <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> and lightning wins! <laughs> What's going on here? Oh no, oh no! We need to get to the bottom of this. What is going? <laughs> oh no! We need to figure this out. And lightning wins, but at what cost? Exactly. Folks, we need to get to the bottom of this right now. So, you want to get to the bottom of this? What? Who's saying that? Let me just tell you a story, okay? <laughs> Miniaturized bombs. Who are you? God of shadows, you. Who the heck are you? They go past fuel checks, and yeah, everything's fine after that. <laughs> They're not strong enough, not powerful enough to actually kill a car, but they can really damage them. A single one is planted into each tank of fuel. Once they have exploded once, every subsequent time that they explode, it gets more and more painful. WHO ARE YOU?! WHY ARE YOU DOING THIS?! Payback, of course. For the World Grand Prix. 
Professor Zondep should have known it was you! Guards! Get him! I'm not alone! Why are you telling us this? Mm -hmm. Nothing else to live for. What? All of my lemons are who knows where and... So I have nothing else to live for. I'm turning myself in back into jail. Well, well then. I regret making this device! I would not have made it if I weren't tasked to do it by Buck Bearingly! What? What? I told you, Zundep, not to tell him that! I'm sorry, but... I'll go back to prison now. What the? Okay, this has gotten really complicated. What's going on? Guards, arrest Buck and take him into interrogation. All right, so Professor Z hired, uh, was hired by Buck to make a weapon that blew up cars randomly with the press of a button. Yeah, this is confusing. Oh boy, I need a recap. Yeah, I know, right? Well, folks, hopefully by next week on Piston Cup Races, everything is straightened out with the Italy 350. Bye, folks!